What's up guys, Matt Sheldon from Become Elite. It's Tuesday, so you already know what that means. Today I wanna to talk to you about a very common problem among younger and older players, and it's this idea of just freezing up when you have the ball, or just not knowing what to do feeling unconfident, not being able to do the skill moves that you want to do in a game. I want to explain why this happens and then also give you a pretty detailed regimen on how to improve this. So let's put the time on the screen and let's get started. So the first thing you have to realize is that you are going to lose the ball a lot. And that's fine if you're losing the ball in the right spaces on the field and at the right times. If you actually watch Messi play in a soccer game, watch how many times he gets the ball and then takes somebody on one-on-one. -on -one. Actually, physically count and write down how many times he loses the ball versus how many times he actually gets by the defender. I guarantee that you're gonna be very surprised with those numbers. So if he can lose the ball going out of the defender, it's completely fine for you to lose the ball. The next thing I wanna talk about is this lack of confidence. And this lack of confidence usually stems from not having enough training under your belt. You're not gonna naturally receive the ball and take the guy on one-on-one, -on -one, do a double step over, push it past him when you haven't put in hours and hours and hours of training mastering that double step over. So the best thing that I believe to do is progress up into this real game. Put a cone down, take a ball, step back about five yards, take a few dribbles at it, work on that single step over or whatever move that you're working on, push it past the cone, turn around and redo it and do it over and over and over again. Keep doing this until you don't even have to think about your foot placement or what you're gonna do, it just comes naturally. Once you feel comfortable with that, progress up into a 1v1 scenario. Take your brother, take a teammate, take a friend or whatever and go out to the field and just play 1v1 to mini goals and just work on performing that 1v1 step over move. Do this over and over again for days, for weeks, for months until you feel very, very comfortable performing that step over move. And once you feel comfortable with it, make it a goal in your next team training session and tell yourself, I'm going to do the step over at least one time. Team training after team training after team training, work on performing that move that you want to do against a live defender and a live scenario with pressure from your coach and teammates, all that stuff. Then make it a conscious goal to perform it in a game. You will find over time, performing the step over in the game is going to become more and more natural for you. It's going to take a lot of time, but that real live training progression from going to the cone to a real defender to a team training to a game is honestly the best way to get your confidence up into performing these moves in a game. And like I always preach, the most effective skill moves are often just the most simple, like a cut, a body faint, or a simple hesitation. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. How to do on time. Oh.